This is Connor's Everyday Carry Pocket Dump Christmas Edition <laughs> video. Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're out making the most out of your day. My name is Connor Gall. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new video that's kind of like a pocket dump video or an everyday carry video. It's gonna be fun. Okay, without further ado, I guess I should empty my pockets and uh, jump into the video. I'm so excited for this. Now just keep in mind that uh, this is what I have on a typical day when I'm wearing jeans or pants that can hold all of this stuff. It's not every single day, especially on the world race if I'm wearing shorts that I have all of this stuff with me. But in general, I typically have all of these things on my person and that's what we're going to show you in this video today. Item number one is uh, pretty obvious. It is my, my iPhone. Um, it is an iPhone 8. I think. I typically like to have a sleeker case, although that has kind of bit me in the butt multiple times because I've dropped it and it's cracked. This one has a little bit of a crack in it. It was actually given to me by a friend because the phone that I had a couple months ago is broken. It's a long story, but item number one, iPhone. Next up is for sure an everyday essential in uh, my Burt's Bees chapstick. For sure chapstick with me every day, everywhere I go, no matter if I'm wearing pants, shorts, whatever, it's with me until I lose it. Along with the idea of chapstick, typically in my pockets every single day you can find a stick of five gum. I have chewed all of it, so that's why I'm representing this item with an empty box. This is not a sponsored video. The next item is a little controversial for a few reasons. Number one, I don't always have these in my pocket. Uh, number two, these AirPods are not mine. Um, Josiah, my roommate, currently is letting me borrow them because he has an extra pair and because the people next door in our rooms are pretty loud at night, so I, I, I wear these to help me go to sleep. However, let it be said that on the world race, I typically do always have a pair of headphones close by, whether they're in my pocket or they're around my neck. Um, I travel with headphones a lot, I listen to music a lot, I like to be able to get that quiet space when I need a quiet space, and I would say that when I'm on the world race at least, these are essential. So typically, I always have them on my person. Classic world racer thing to have with you everywhere you go. Water bottle. For me, it is a Hydro Flask. I think it's the 40 ounce Hydro Flask. I love this for a few different reasons. Number one, keeps your water cold, holds a lot of water. Also, I've been drinking more water, like I said on the vlog the other day. I haven't been drinking enough water. Well, these last two days, I've been crushing it. The next reason I really love the Hydro Flask is because it is, it's solid, man. Like if I'm walking and I need to use it to defend myself from a dog or I don't know, a situation that goes awry, I can just like, bah! Oh my gosh, I almost hit my camera. Because it is 2020, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, the mask. The mask that I have in my pockets these days. This mask is brought to you by Ten tree. Okay, next up, it, it depends if I'm daily vlogging or if I'm taking pictures or making a video um, based on whether or not I have this in my pocket. But if I do have my camera with me, you can count on me having the lens cap in my pocket all day. And then I'll forget about it until at the end of the day when I pull it out before I go to sleep. It's a miracle that I haven't lost him yet. I don't always wear a necklace, um, but these are called Keys for the Journey. And a guy named Austin makes them. I'll shout him out uh, and give him a plug. He's really an awesome dude, and you should follow him on Instagram and buy a key. Uh, he prays over the keys, and he puts a word, or you can ask which word you would like to put on the keys, and uh, he'll put a word on it for you, and that is kind of like your prophetic word to take with you until God moves you to give it away to somebody else. So it's something that you keep for yourself, that you apply to your life until you're ready to give it away. He actually at training camp took this key off of his neck and gave it to me, so it's really special. I don't want to tell you what it says just yet because I'm saving that for another video. I'm really excited that, uh, that it gets to be part of my journey this upcoming world race season. Ooh, that's just a, can you hear that? That's just a nice sound. Okay, next up is uh, the old, the old sunglasses. Oh gosh, they are, they need to be cleaned. Again, I don't always have these in my pockets, obviously, but uh, if it's a sunny day in the world race, I like to have sunglasses. I just don't like to squint, you know? It's just not, I just rather, I just rather do this. Um, as you can see, 
I have a watch. It is a Garmin Instinct $300 watch. This was like my birthday present to myself this year. I had a little extra money left over from a wedding shoot that I did and I decided to get this watch because um, I've been wanting one for quite a long time. Um, it's really cool. I'm not going to tell you all about it, but Garmin, you've done a great job with this watch. Do not regret the purchase at all. Highly recommend if you have been thinking about getting one. My next item is my knife, which I just love that sound. I love like, it's like my fidget spinner, you know? You just... It's kind of creepy when I play with it, but it's very satisfying to just play with it. I do owe a huge shout out to my friend Stuart Sharp. Again, he is more like a brother to me, another incredible friend of mine who gifted me this knife. Super, super kind of him. Uh, he loves knives. He's way more into knives than I am. So I don't know all the ins and outs about this knife. It's a Kershaw and he told me that the steel, the blade is like actually really good quality steel. Um, but yeah, he gave this to me, and so this is just something I love carrying with me because it reminds me of a really incredible friendship in my life, um, and it's just like a little piece of home and a little piece of like somebody that I've known longer than just a couple of months because typically on the world race, you travel with people that you've only known for a short amount of time, and this is a great reminder that it's like, no, I got people back home who love me, who are praying for me, who care for me, and uh, so yeah, I, I carry this knife. It's fun to play with. It's fun to to use, but it's also more of like a, a mental comfort, if that makes sense. So, Stuart, thanks my man. I carry it with me just about every day. Last but not least is probably one of the items that I am the most proud of uh, as far as like purchases, cool little finds on the world race. We were in Armenia and we were just kind of going through this cool little artisan market and I came across this leather craftsman, leather master, this leather maker. <laughs> and I saw this wallet. Um, it is a handmade leather stitched, hand stitched leather wallet. Got a, uh, a bill pouch, is that what it's called? A little, little area in there for your money. One of my favorite aspects about this wallet because as you travel the world, you're gonna find that a lot of other countries use coins a lot more than we do here in America. It's got its own little change purse right there. You just put coins in there and listen, listen, to, the, listen to the click. Ready? Ah, oh, isn't that satisfying? It's magnetic. Perfect little click. Gets it. Gets it every time. Boom. Put your change in there, put your coins in there. Slide it into your uh, your back pocket. It's thin. It doesn't uh, doesn't annoy me when I sit down. Or if it does, I just, you know, pull it out, set it on the table, it looks really great, right next to my phone, and you're good to go. This is probably my favorite purchase that I have made on the world race. Armenia. Thank you. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed just seeing some of the random things that I carry with me. I hope you got a few laughs or maybe even got a few ideas of what you would like to carry in your pockets on the daily. If you got an idea or if you wanna share an idea with me, please let me know in the comments down below. If you like the video, go ahead, hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, baby Santa, subscribe. Until tomorrow, we will see you very soon. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, peace.